So I'd like to introduce you to Natalie. This is my model today. So this is the before. We're going to do a cut and color and I'm going to break it all down for you step by step. With the foils, Natalie has a bit of a side part or she wears it more to the side. So I'm going to take that middle section of foils slightly off center to make sure we get both ends of that part line. So you can see here, I'm gonna do slices. They're really thin, but I wanna make sure I get all the color all the way to the root area to make sure that we have no regrowth, but I'm trying not to overlap it here. So as you can see here, the foils are gonna be slices all the way down the middle, but super thin. So as I move on to the side, you can see I'm taking slightly diagonal back sections and this is very important. This section here, I see this happen all the time. You can see the very end of it, I'm grabbing the front of her hairline. So again, these foils are going to be so fine, but quite a few of them. So we don't want to give her zebra stripes, but we want them just to blend in. So just naturally working through one side, moving on to the other side. But again, you can see as I'm taking that section, it's so fine. And just making sure that we're not getting thick stripes. So when she pushes it back, it's just really natural. <laughs> Okay, let's jump into the haircut. So I process the color for about 25 minutes to get the desired blonde I want. So with the haircut, what I'm going to do, you can see Natalie's head is slightly forward because the guideline is going to be right on her hairline. So what I typically do here is make sure the hair is combed directly down, uh, leaning against the back of her neck. So Typically, I start the hair cut off just to create a get rid of that bottom part. But then as I'm going to create that bottom guideline, I'm going to push the hair directly down to make sure that there's no undergraduation. So after taking that bottom section off and getting right, you know, above the occipital bone or right where the shape of the head starts to curve, I'm going to create a layer. So you can see I'm slightly pulling this out at 90 degrees and I'm just taking that corner off. So once I work all the way up to the crown, I'm just going to connect it. You know, all we're doing here is just a square layer. So you can see I'm pulling it out at 90 degrees underneath uh, my fingers that hair is dropping out because I've already cut it so I'm really just connecting that layer making sure that everything flows right so when we move on to the side same sort of thing you know creating I've created that guideline down the bottom so just making sure that all connects you can see the highlights there it turned out really well so just taking that corner off because we don't want an angle on this haircut anymore we just want it straight across so we did decide to give Natalie some side swept uh, fringe area, which is a little bit thicker than she's had in the past. So I'm going to over direct it in the different direction that we want that fringe to go because we want it shorter to longer. So I'm just going to take a triangle section right at the top where the head starts to curve. That's where I'm going to start the fringe. But you can see I'm going to pull it directly to one side and it's the opposite side of the direction I want to style her hair in.
Okay, Natalie was really nervous about getting this done. You can see right here the look on her face. She was a little bit scared about it all. But I turned out really well in the end and I couldn't be more happy with the haircut. So after just round brushing it, just blasting it with a hairdryer, I just go through and just personalize it a little bit with my scissors, just giving it a little bit of movement. Now Natalie's got a photo shoot coming up in the next couple of weeks, so we're trying not to um, give it too much texture because we still want it to look really clean. Really happy the way Natalie's hair turned out. So listen, if you're the first time to my channel and you like my content, Leave a comment down below, hit that subscribe button, don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know when I upload next, and share them with your friends. Just to finish off, I used a bit of the locked hairspray by the Salon Guy. I'm in love with this hairspray, it's a matte finish, but overall, Natalie's hair I was really happy with. What did you say? You didn't think you'd like it? No! <laughs> I didn't think I would like it, actually.